Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Who Can Become a Producer, which is a course in music production based in Sweden for women, transgendered and non-binary people. Uh, our tutorials are powered by ABF, so thank you so much for helping us out. My name is Cecilia and today I'll be taking you through a deconstruction of a track I released with my band Got No Filter a couple years ago. The track is a double track consisting of a track called Can You Relax Your Shoulders and Teach Us How To Feel with a transition in the middle which I'll be talking a little bit more about. But maybe let's just start out listening to the first part of the track. So, anyways, you're busy, I'll find another way. Really, I'm okay. Let's talk another day. So, as you can hear, it's pretty simple uh, in the beginning. There's a bass. And then there's two pads. A high pitch pad and a more mid-tone pad. This one actually originates from a vocal sample, which is very high pitched. And then there's this one. And then, of course, my vocals on top of it. I'll find another way. With a lot, a lot of reverb. So it continues into the chorus. Where you can hear uh, that Julia doubles my uh, vocals. Uh, I think it gives quite a nice effect because our voices are quite different. And then another pad actually comes in. Go father, you really deserve so as you can hear, it just follows the middle melody. And then after the chorus, we have the second verse sounding like this. Never mind, I'm leaving. Find a place to stay. No, it's just a feeling. Let me be my okay. And as you can hear, a couple of things are happening here. These pulsing pads. And as you can hear, uh, they sound a little different. The first one here has some sort of echo to it. And then it disappears. And that's also why they are on different tracks, because they are treated differently. Then we have this 
a synthesizer which I called Synth Hero coming in. to build up to the chorus. And then there's a bunch of uh, percussion stuff going on, sounding like this. And these are actually recorded live by Anas, who is the drummer in the band. And I guess maybe edited a little bit afterwards uh, to yeah, just clean it up a bit. So all these parts kind of uh, built up to the second chorus, which sounds like this. The vocals are starting to transition into being more uh, manipulated. Uh, so as you can hear, I'll just turn on automation mode. So as you can see, the clean vocals are faded out. And on top of that, a recording of uh, my vocals through a TC Voice Live comes in here. Uh, and in this recording, I just added the uh, auto-tune and it sounds like this. So these two are kind of uh, blended together so that the manipulated vocals become uh, louder and the clean vocals become quieter. So together they sound like this. So as you can hear, the clean vocals fade completely out towards the end. And actually through the rest of the track, we only used manipulated vocals. And we did that because we wanted to make this transition into a more processed uh, sound uh, to make the kind of the computer take over the human. So that's why the vocals are getting more and more processed. Um, and after this, uh, the song starts to transition into the next part of the double track. And the transition sounds like this. So in this part, all instruments disappear and it's only uh, the manipulated vocals that remain. Uh, also, the tempo shifts from 100 BPM to 136 BPM. And this uh, happens gradually. So you can also hear the tempo shift uh, in some of the synthesizers. Uh, that the pitch uh, is trying to uh, follow the tempo. So let's jump into the second part of the double track uh, called Teach Us How to Feel. And it starts out like this. Mm 
And as you can hear, uh, the percussion comes in again. Uh, the actually the same as uh, in the other part of the track. But of course, uh, the rhythm is different. Then uh, we have some vinyl noise coming in as well. And this part, uh, this one actually sounds a little bit like a clock, I think. And then the same uh, synthesizer that was kind of out of tune when the tempo shifted becomes very dominant in this uh, next part. So we have uh, the vinyl noise, uh, the percussion, the synthesizer, and then on top of that we have some vocal samples. Uh, and these are actually recorded through OP1 uh, synthesizer, which is a synthesizer made by the Swedish company called Teenage Engineering. Uh, and this synthesizer actually has a sampler in it, so you can just record directly into it. I think this is actually just uh, Julia who recorded some random melody and then just took parts of it uh, and made it into a uh, sampler instrument. So they sound like this. So they become kind of the theme of the song, I think. And then the bass comes in. some bill sounding synthesizer coming as well. So here comes the drums which are recorded on a Tempest drum machine. And then comes what you can call the chorus, or maybe kind of an interlude or something, which is uh, the first time the, the vocals appear in this track. Sound like this. And 
as you can hear, the vocal samples uh, change during this part. They sound like this. So they become a little bit more like a melody or something. Uh, then we have this church organ synthesizer-ish sound uh, coming in. Which has uh, this kind of staccato feel to it to create some drama. <laughs> And then we're back. I remember when we made this track that we discussed if we should add some extra element or maybe a synthesizer or pad after this breakdown to kind of build up towards the outro of the track. But we decided to not do that, to try and go against this urge to always want to add more and build up. And then comes the outro. And here we uh, made two different melodies. One is the same as the first chorus. Last. We can't relate. Can you teach us how to feel? We can't relate. And this uh, melody is joined by another melody which kind of complements the other one. Last feel it. We can't relate. Turn it on. Can you teach us how to feel? Beat it. We can't relate it in our brains. Last feel it. We can't relate. Turn it on. Can you teach us how to feel? Beat it. We can't relate it in our brains. And we kind of wanted these two melodies to have a conversation with each other. So it's kind of two computers talking to each other about wanting to feel something. I think the vocals are quite essential in the outro here because they become more and more manipulated uh, and more and more glitchy towards the end. So as you can see, we cut it up quite a bit here uh, to kind of try and make the vocals dissolve. And it sounds like this. And as you can hear, uh, this last melody that comes in is actually the same as the chorus in the first part, uh, which is just uh, pitched up an octave. It sounds like this. So with everything, the outro sounds like this.
just how to feel We can't replace it in a situation We can't eliminate And I don't mean just how to repeat We can't replace it in a Yeah, so the outro uh, has a lot of the same elements as uh, the rest of the track. We have the vocal samples. They're kind of the same. Also the drums are. It just ends up with the vocals dissolving into a more and more glitchy universe towards the end. Yeah. So now we've gone through the whole track. If you want to hear the full version of this track, you can listen to Got No Filter on whatever streaming service you prefer. We'll be back with a new tutorial next week, so I hope to see you then. Mm -hmm.